How is it going guys? Drew Peacock here back with another video and the face cam is back and I am not wearing pants and I'm not gonna stand up and show you guys. <laughs> I kind of got the room cleaned up. I'm sorry it's not as clean as I would like but you guys really wanted the face cam so I went ahead and made sure that you guys had it on this particular video. Anyways today we're gonna be back on Facebook Marketplace taking a look at some idiots who think that they built a masterpiece of a car and they're trying to cash out. They're trying to get that check real quick before they move on to the next project car. Anyways, if you guys see any listings like this, go ahead and send it to my Gmail, drewpeacock.clips at gmail.com. Let's go ahead and dive right in. All right, first car. We got a 2012 Dodge Charger SE sedan, four-door, $9,000. Not quite 10, just nine. And you get to drive away with this mean machine right here. Now, this owner was so kind. He's modified it so much that it might be not recognizable that it is a Dodge Charger. So he put Dodge Charger on all of the tires. You could clearly see charger rt charger rt on all of them he also has a healthy list of sponsors right there we got sparko and then how could you forget about sparko and momo and nos and blitz and hks and all the blah 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 of course he also has brembos down at the bottom um which i'm not i'm not quite seeing no brembos on the car I, I'm, I'm having a hard time identifying what brembo caliper that is but you know maybe he'll show a better photo of it sick okay yeah this photo shows a lot this photo shows a lot we got the wolverine scratch marks we got more sponsors this this side of the car might be sponsored by a different set of sponsors because he's got uh oz racing on this side but he didn't have that on the other side so maybe this might be a sparko exclusive side and then this side is for is for the other people so all right cool nice another healthy list of sponsors this guy's he's got more sponsors than me man w what can you say you know he's got uh hood pins not two though he's got four Two wasn't enough. Two was the recommended amount. You get an aftermarket hood, which this guy, of course, does not have. You get an aftermarket hood. They recommend hood pins depending on the on the hood style. This guy said, you know what? I, I know my limits. I know the car's limits. I need four. He swiped his credit card twice. He's got some uh, hood vents on there, of course. Got to have some heat extractors. He's got a cool sticker, aggressive front lip. Wow, look at that diffuser. All of that air escaping out from underneath there. Look at that diffuser. Oh, God, it's so small. And is that rust on the trunk? Jesus Christ, what the fuck happened? I didn't think the back can get worse than the front, but here we are. You can put a bag over someone's head, but you can't put a bag over their back while you're hitting it. You know, this is disgusting. I wouldn't like, look at that tramp stamp. That shit looks disgusting. That's what we like to call an STD here in the car scene. He's got the worst wicker bill attached to the factory wing. That is just the dumbest thing ever. I'm sorry, people, that is stupid. Don't do that. Whew. That mean mugging right there. Damn, I didn't think anybody needed four hood pins, but this guy, this guy's pulling it off pretty good. They also are not mounted to anything because there's no fucking like core structures this deep in the hood like they're just floating there this guy's a fucking idiot like i just look at this and i'm just like baffled on how dumb people are where do these people come from like what schools are letting these people get diplomas and then what fucking dmvs are letting these people get driver's license how dumb do you have to be to do this to your car the interior is whatever i don't give a shit about the interior oh sick ass headlights whoo we got the big guns here. This baby drove all the way from Madison Heights through Troy to Waterford. Fuck yeah, this baby right here, this daily driver, it drove. It fucking drove. What the hell's wrong with people, man? This car looks like it was customized by a 16-year-old with half a brain. This dude was dropped on his head. I'm sorry. I, 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 there's not even a... It's a V6 too. It's a fucking V6. Why do you have 345 badges on it then? Why do you have RT badges all over it? I was under the impression this whole time it's an RT because he's got RT badges splattered across this thing like there's no tomorrow. My bad. It's a fucking V6. I mean, it's not like the RT is much better. Let's keep it fair. It's the slowest V8 to, to like to date. But oh my god, it just gets worse. It's a V6. It ain't even a fucking V8. The whole time I was thinking, all right, cool. At least at least he's got a V8. At least he's got a V8. It ain't even a fucking V8. This V6 made it all the way across town. It's a fucking, it's a monster. I fucking hate people. One second, my dog's, my dog wants out. $9,000 gets you a mean V6. Sounds like a good price. All right, moving on. We got a 2014 Scion FRS Coupe two-door for just about $8,000, a thousand less. Okay, thousand dollar discount. Would you rather have this bad boy right here? Let's take a look. Let's break it down. At least with FRS, as we know, there's only one motor that's in that thing, and it's a piece of shit underpowered boxer. So you, you already know you're disappointed. Like with this guy, this guy was blue balling me. I thought this guy had a V8. It turns out he doesn't. This guy, right off the bat, we already know, piece of shit, slow car. He also doesn't know the difference between white and white because these two whites are not the same. Rear canards back there. Yep, that, make, that makes sense to me. Big ass wing. 
my dog is tearing up some shit. For some odd reason, he opted out to take off the rear lower valence. I don't know why he did that. We got some over fenders up front. Fender mirrors? Why would anybody want fender mirrors on a modern day car? Like, they suck. I'm sorry, they are they are trash. There's, there's no benefit to having fender mirrors. Whatever, this guy also has hood pins because I guess every factory hood is just too fucking weak to latch, especially under 200 horsepower, which is being pretty generous. We all know these things are crazily underpowered. We already know that. This thing's getting 150 to the wheel on a good day. With all this bullshit he did to it, I, I don't think this thing's seeing 100 miles an hour. I honestly don't think so. I don't know what fucking stock wheels he put on this thing, but I, I dare I call them aftermarket. Okay, he's clearly horny as well. Good for him. This guy's probably horny all the time because he clearly ain't getting no bitches with this car. He's also sponsored by NOS and HKS. Why can't I get sponsored by them? What am I doing wrong? Why? Why Do I need to make my Supra look like this? Do I need to put a bash bar and a, a light bar on it? Like... I try so hard and I just get nothing. Anyways, yeah, okay, so good, good job, buddy. Yeah, it seems like Arrow was, was your uh, your priority on this car. Oh my God, dude. No girl climbs in this car, sees that, and thinks, <laughs> this guy's getting late tonight. No girl does that. Like, it, it's not happening. This is, oh, all right. Well, I mean, it looks like it's kind of an off road build. I already know someone's commenting, Drew. Can you not tell? It's clearly an off road FRS. What are you doing? You're not crawling up any rocks in this thing. This, this thing can't even carry its own weight up a fucking hill. It can't. Like, it, it ain't happening. So, oh my God. All right. Uh, it's a 2014 two door coupe, six speed manual, clean title. Like, why are you saying clean title? Look at this thing. This thing's clearly been in an accident. It might be clean title, but it's still been fucking hit. There's no point. That chassis. That frame could still be just as curvy as this dude's dick. <laughs> Let me know down below. Are you a curve to the left type of guy though or a curve to the right? But yeah, you guys get what I'm saying? What the fuck is this shit? Drew, you're being a little mean to these people. I don't care. I really don't care. All right, next car. 2013 Ford Focus hatchback, four door, $13,000. A little bit more, a little bit more cash on this one, okay? It's, you, you need to have a little bit higher credit score to buy this bad boy right here. These are entry level cars, okay? This, you need to be making some good money to buy this bad boy right here. All right, let's take a look at this thing. We got some wide body fender flares. Awesome, sick. Totally not some cheap universal shit. We got a sick wrap, great looks looks amazing um why would you wide body your car wide body why would you do that and then leave it on stock wheels and like stock fitment too for the most part like it looks like you might have a spacer in the rear the front is still just as tucked you might as well have just left it like a clean stock looking car with good fitment good offset all that stuff is much better than a poorly modified car with horrible everything just because you're checking the box like and, and i guarantee this guy tells people yeah i gotta <laughs> I got a wide body ST, barely. Like you have like $30 over fenders and they're not even done right. Oh, uh, he's got the uh, Dragon Ball. Yeah, 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 man. Oh, cool, man. Cool shifter. All right, cool. Yeah, he's got some cool knickknacks in here. Sick blue bandana. Hey, yo, blue bandana. You already know what it's doing, you know? Don't mess with this guy. He's got that blue banny. He's got that blue banny. You don't want to mess with him. Oh, and the, the, the 12 inches? Are those 12s or 14s in the rear? Sick. Mm hmm yeah, totally made it so you could totally put nothing into your trunk. Nothing at all. Just your little detail fucking crate. Oh my And he's got the sick pedal commander. Oh, all that horsepower unlocked. Boom, boom, boom. They were supposed to send me one to review and they never did. I wonder why. And then of course that badass hood intake. Ooh, damn, this thing is crisp, man. Super dope. Next car, 93 Honda Civic SI hatchback. And that does not look like a 93 Civic. I have a 92. You know what I love about my 92? My hatch. You know what this guy did? Fuck the hatch. You know the cool clamshell hatch? Fuck that hatch. We're going to fucking mold that thing and put some sick ass vet taillights because this is a vet, not a fucking Honda. At least he's got decent fitment. At least he's got decent fitment. The wheels look like dog shit. I hate how flat they are. What are those? They look like sewer drain covers. But at least they're, they're, they're fitting in there pretty good. Sick. That's just what I want with my Honda Civic. A bunch of duct tape on the seat. Oh, my God. He's got his fucking ECU just floating around, too. I know that's the ECU because I ripped mine out, and I still have it in my garage. It looks identical to that, which means he's still on the stock D-Series motor. Let's take a look. There it is. There she is. The bi the mighty fucking single cam. <laughs> Why do people do this? Why? Like, I don't think the front end looks bad at all. I actually like the front bumper. It almost looks like a, a, a skyline, you know? It looks kind of sick. But what the fuck? Like, but why the, why the vet? Why the vet rear end? Oh, I don't know. It doesn't even match. Look at the colors. Don't even match. Fucking, oh, what? Well, let's, let's read the scriptures before asking questions. Okay, unfinished project. You don't say. 9300 Civic, D16, blah, blah, blah. C5 inspired rear end. 
why would you be inspired to turn your hatchback into an american sports car that doesn't even make sense an s14 headlight not your typical hatchback 100 yeah you already know this ain't your typical hatchback well that explains why the front end looks so sick now that i look at it though it doesn't really match like the hood cut doesn't yeah you guys get what i'm saying oh i got something in my eye it's probably a bunch of shit from this car oh i'm not gonna read the rest of this thing how much does he want 5500 that's what i paid for mine so but mine had a b20 swap already and it was clean this thing not so clean look at all that oil Ugh, yeah no nah, you, you're getting like three grand and that's just some guy that's literally gonna tear this thing apart all right last car we got um 2010 mazda mazda 3 s sport hatchback four door for four thousand dollars and he's got a phone number on the side that says i eat ass and then his shirt says iea which i'm assuming means i eat ass and then on his face he says i eat ass i guarantee this guy hasn't touched a female in his life sick uh, that's a it's a mighty fine looking car there damn squad it up me and my boys the dodge dart the mazda 3 <laughs> we out here fucking killing it bro we're butt munchers that's what his license plate says that's not what i'm calling him sick photography yeah it might be in like 140p but you get the gist man it's a mazda bro take a look look at my sick fitment totally couldn't fist that shit there's like not a good photo of this car like it looks like regular traffic like i'm sorry and i know that's like an insult in the car scene but this is regular traffic there there is there, there, besides your fucking funny little sticker ha <laughs> Ass. besides that this is regular traffic this like this this is garbage this is just fucking garbage every photo of this car this guy has never touched a female oh but drew he took photos with two baddies at the beginning bro he took photos with two baddies these insta thoughts they'll take photos in front of any shit box they don't even know what the fuck they're looking at they don't know the difference between a mazda and a miata and i know you're saying well they're the same i know but they don't know that this is just, a, I mean, he's only asking $4,000, but like this, like bros, bros crew needs to kick him out, bro. That this ain't it. And then he takes a photo next to the fucking Swirl City. Worst paint condition ever, Audi. Hard flex, bro. Sick. Let's read his goofy ass description. Oh my God. Not eating enough ass? Well, look no further. The freak mobile is here. I guarantee you haven't kissed a girl inside that car. Equipped with its own set of handcuffs loudness to surely snap a few necks just because you're loud and you think people are looking at your car doesn't mean you're breaking their necks you're breaking their necks for the wrong reasons they're looking around because they think that's some fucking crackhead in a, a, an accord with no catalytic converters coming at them they're not looking because they're like damn that's a sick mazda they're looking because they're fearing for their life and keep the ones who's interested staring i have a four-year relationship with ms matt dude this guy's so cringe hate to break up with her but eating the same thing every day gets old if you get what i'm saying this is the cringiest fucking loser i've ever oh my god whatever nobody's going to buy this once again posted two weeks ago it ain't selling and if it is they're ripping off all your fucking lame ass stickers oh my god anyways guys oh that shit was annoying man like i'm just, anyways guys hopefully you enjoyed this video if you did please let me know down below which car was the worst if you had to choose out of one of these four or five i don't know how many there were which one would you choose so anyways guys let me know down below subscribe and until next video peace